welcome to this exciting video where you once again join me in the mad landscape of Scotland here and today we've come to record a cool, it's like a piece of World War 2 history but this site here actually dates back to World War 1 and the site we're at today is Montrose Airfield or Montrose Aerodrome as it's called but this is actually the site of what was the first ever operational airfield in the UK before the days of even the RAF and stuff like that, that hadn't been formed but the cool building that I'm wanting to document, I don't know if there's anything left of it but I've found out the location where it used to be, it's actually the battle headquarters for this airfield I have been to a battle headquarters before when I was at Schoon Airfield with the exploring crew last year I think it was and the old World War II battle headquarters is still there and today once again it's hopefully another battle head headquarters but the thing is with this Montrose one I saw an old photograph from 1992 and just think that's 31 years ago folks like it's probably not even there now because there's so much new like development and stuff up ahead and that's all to do with like the Scottish oil business a lot of these companies are massive offshore companies and they use Montrose for like the site of their business because Montrose has got the excellent popular harbour and stuff like that so the ships are going in out there to the North Sea all the time there's an interesting little kind of like pond area here with some trees I'm not sure this would have been the outer kind of area on the original airfield but today it's a massive like network of paths and I know for sure that the old battle headquarters was located next to a bridge the old abandoned Scottish steam railway runs alongside here and the bridge which I'm looking for is actually like over the old railway and literally there's a bridge up here and that's the reason I thought this must be the location because I've never seen another bridge like this in the Montrose area but I'm really just wanting to go and have an explore around here folks and see what history's left sometimes the World War II time period's like my favourite to explore and literally I love seeing things that I've never explored before crazy wee nuggets of Scottish history just hidden and forgotten ready to be uncovered and today it's Montrose history folks and just check out this weather pure blue skies incredible exploring conditions out here so the building I'm looking for today is actually one of the classic red brick wartime buildings that we've seen most likely it originally had like a render over it but in the photograph I saw it was just the red brick which was left and a lot of the battle headquarters were actually buried right under the ground and there was just a small slit at the top with like a defensive roof where they could actually look out and obviously they would control the defence of the airfield and the operation of the airfield from within that bunker and from the photograph it looks like it should just be at the other side of this little bridge up ahead I should maybe step through onto the old railway this is insane scenes today folks it's a wild landscape like and I'm just thinking at the other side of this bridge it looks like it's all been like redone when that big shed's been built again maybe even when I started YouTube maybe a few years ago there might have been even more on display here but I never realised like this history was even here I've just noticed some red brick remains folks but it's no much the building that I saw in the photograph is massive check this out folks, this is our first evidence of history containing red brick it almost looks like someone's been bulldozed here down most likely World War 2 history when you see that red brick from the photograph I saw the building must have been around like this side and I can see it must be gone this must be the red brick remains folks check it out wow 
it's such a shame history like that can get deleted again before it's recorded properly and documented in detail yeah this was definitely the bridge because in the photograph i remember it was broken off at the corner a cool little bit of railway history here folks this bridge at one time going over the old steam railway here from our broth and look it's been the single line and this was the one that continued up over the famous viaduct on the way to St Cyrus and that you go over past the old railway viaduct anyway check this out all this red brick is actually from that World War II construction which has been destroyed such a shame history like that could just get destroyed folks it breaks my heart so much interest in buildings the cool thing with this one which i was looking for today it actually had the anti-aircraft position on top yeah this is where it was it was just located here look at this folks it's all modern massive Those oil companies have so much money, and that's the reason they can just get history like that deleted okay, for their modern enterprises. It's such a shame because literally, like, right in this location here is where it was, and that red brick we saw at the bottom of the hill would have been from that World War II construction, folks. So it just shows folks, I'm 30, 31 years too late, I just about fell over there. It's proper slippy and fully icy today, the conditions are wild. Yeah, I'm not even sure if we'll get a view of this or any other history. It's probably just been totally bulldozed for sure. And all these thick bushes, it covers everything up. So this is the original site folks, Montrose Air Base. World War II Battle Headquarters. It's cool to document even like the location where it was because I had, I've obviously been into the history of this area for a long time and I had never seen a picture of it. And that bridge was the giveaway sign. That's how I knew exactly where it had been. Straight away I thought I need to come and like see what is left. Wow folks, look there's tons of debris down in these holes. I'm going to take a look over the edge of this area here, which has been levelled. The shadow's at a low angle because in the winter here in Scotland, the sun never gets very high on the sky. Yeah, we'll take a look at that cement there in a minute. There's a serious amount of cement. All the land here, right the way to those sand dunes, this was all the airfield all the way up and there's a golf course at the far side there's other popular areas here like little air raid shelters and stuff related to the airfield but i've covered them in depth before on videos and actually now they're sealed up can the history now can't even be viewed and then another interesting thing over in the long grass in that direction the old shooting ranges there's actually two of them I'm just taking a look over this edge, folks. Just to make sure there's no history that I'm missing. All I'm seeing is big chunks of cement and stuff. And at the bottom of that hill is obviously where I saw the first remains of, like, red brick construction. Bulldozed. History almost forgotten. It's just crazy, like, that it can be deleted like that. and Nobody even really cares about it. Modern industry takes over. So we'll go and take a look at this. This is literally World War II debris on the ground here, which is cool to think about, like. Probably shows you the massive amount of construction that was around this site. When you see, like, the amount of cement that's, like, just left here. Old bases for buildings. Some of the original World War II buildings are still along nearer Montrose. And there's actually a really interesting air base museum at Montrose. It's worth a visit. 
I'll have to probably go there one day on a video. Yeah, this has been some old World War II construction here, like a base for a building. I can see there's even remains of like red brick. And this is a serious area here, covered in building remains. I just noticed there's like a metal part over here, some sort of... Look at this, folks. An old bit of World War II metal, maybe an old base for a mast or something like that. An interesting thing in the middle of this airfield as well, there's like a metal mesh which used to stop the planes and stuff sinking into the grass when they landed because the grass in the middle was actually the original runway and the massive cement area around the outside was apparently like the taxiway for them coming on and off the airfield. This will be some original World War II, probably perimeter fencing from the site. All just in a big heap now. Look at that, folks. And then there's a piece of cement further over here with an interesting feature on it, folks. So we'll take a look at that. These, like, cement pieces that we're looking at here is most likely parts of the original battle headquarters. If you do want to see what one of them looks like, I'll link the schoon video at the end of this one so you can click on it because it's interesting to see inside it they were big can normally most of it was under the ground like i say like quite a big room and then there was a the little bit at the top for looking out look at this it's had big chunks on the side of it it is just like big piles of metal with like cement because look there's metal here from something else Ancient history of Scotland right here, folks. World War II. Oh, look, here's an in interesting piece. It's like a big square chunk here. But inside it, it's like sloped down. It's almost like a drain entrance for a drain or whatever. Or maybe even conduits for wiring and stuff like that. This is so cool to see, folks. I'm always interested. Like, the World War II history is literally some of my favourite stuff to explore. It's crazy because it's not actually that long ago, Ken, but I think a lot of people just forget the struggle the country went through at that time and the amount they did to defend like every inch of the land. There's only small hints of that history left and it's cool to document it on this channel and speak about stuff like that, the battle headquarters. Because I've, like, like I've said already in this video, I've already documented other parts of the airfield so it's cool almost like putting pieces of the puzzle together learning where everything was how it operated there's even some cool like ghost stories interesting ghost stories at this site as well because apparently there was like a plane which crashed and the pilot had died and then other pilots later like in the second world war used to say that they could see his airplane on the runway and stuff when they were coming into land He's often seen like throughout the airfield as well. Look at this folks, this is another sad relic of the war here which has been knocked down unfortunately. It used to be a massive pillbox also made of like that uh, red brick which most war buildings were made out of and then it would have had like the cement render over it. But it's so interesting to see this. I've looked at it one time before, but actually when I was looking at that picture from 1992, that's when I saw a picture of this as well in its former glory. So I thought, just since I was along there at that other bunker, like I could document this as well. Another one here, folks, where it's 31 years too late. Or at least, I can 100% it was standing 31 years ago. I'm not sure if this one was also an anti-aircraft position like what we saw at the Chain Home Radar when we were at the transmitter end of the Chain Home Radar there was actually bunkers like this with the anti-aircraft position in the middle check it out folks 
a little pile of history here. It's almost like finding a skeleton. This here is a skeleton of war. The skeleton of a little building from the war. Wow, I slipped on that icy brick. Yeah, and you can see the different shapes of it, how it was a hexagon. Look at that angle there, folks. That would have been one of the edges. Okay, look, it's deep under there. I'm not sure if it was like blowing up or if they just knocked it down with like a digger or whatever. Probably the council did it maybe in this, for safety. Could have been at any time. Maybe in the year 2000, like early 2000s, it was getting pretty dangerous. So they just decided to, for public safety just to knock it down. Whereas at least at the other side, they've just sealed them up. So the history can still be seen and it is protected inside there as well from like vandalism and stuff like that. I can actually see it the other side folks, beyond those bushes, there's a whole heap of like solar uh, panels which shows the sign of the modern world we're in. It's almost like a field of solar panels and then there's a sewage works right next to it. Sometimes if you come here certain days it's proper stinking if the wind's blowing this direction. Check it out, we're actually on the old airfield now. The planes used to take off and land over in the middle, the middle of the grass. And like I've said, that there's like metal mesh stuff laid throughout the ground so the planes wouldn't make it muddy and sink in. And it's not just like fence wire or something, it's proper thick metal. There's probably literally like tons and tons of it right over that whole area. Right you folks, that's been a short adventure. It's a bit of fun just seeing the battle headquarters location and what's left of it. I believe that pile of rubble and red bricks is the last remains of the Montrose Aerodrome battle headquarters and there it is documented on, on the channel for the first time. The first time I've seen it even documented since 1992 on YouTube. So yeah, I'm going to end it here. Thanks very much for watching and I'll be back very soon with the next one. Thank you.